Welcome back. Today we're going to add in the spaceship to our space shooter game. Make sure that you have your flash drive plugged into the computer so that we can launch your Construct 2 project. Make sure you watch these videos all the way through before you do anything. Windows E will get you to your computer. Navigate to your flash drive to the Colstock Game Dev Space Shooter directory. Double click on the spaceshooter.capx to launch your project. We're going to be adding a new layer and we're going to be naming it content. We're going to be putting content on top of the background. We're going to be putting on a higher layer. Go back to the projects tab and we're going to add our spaceship. Right click, insert new object. The spaceship is a sprite and we're going to insert it with the name spaceship. The crosshair will appear and it will tell you which layer the object will be placed upon. Now it's time to insert the spaceship, click the folder, go to the assets directory once again, and open up the spaceship. It should look like that. Awesome. As you can see, the spaceship is on the layout. We're going to set its properties. We're going to position it to be in the center of the screen. So the X value is 400, the Y value 3416. Next we want to add behaviors to the spaceship. Right click on the spaceship and choose behaviors. Use the plus icon to add. We want to add a couple of behaviors. We want to add the eight direction behavior, the scroll to behavior, and the bound to layout behavior. There's our three behaviors. The next step is to set these behaviors properties. For eight direction, we're going to change its max speed property to 375. And set angle to no. Okay, we can go ahead and close the behavior dialog box. Next, we're going to work with image points. Right click the spaceship, edit animations. Notice there's an image points dialog. We're going to add a new one. We're going to create an image point called laser left. Image points are exactly what they sound like. They're points on an image and we can use these to do a variety of things. We're going to position it at the X coordinate of 38 and the Y coordinate of 0. This is a location from which lasers will spawn on the left side of the ship. Create another image point called laser right. We're going to position that at X coordinate 86 and Y coordinate 0. We're going to be using these image points to spawn lasers later on. You can go ahead, close that dialog, close the edit image dialog. Let's go ahead and save before we go any further. Okay. Every layout has an event sheet. The event sheet is where we create code events that allow us to uh, bring our game to life. Let's practice create an event. Let's click on Add Event and double click System. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to find the On Start of Layout event. So, on the start of the layout, we are going to set the speed of the spaceship's eight direction behavior to 100. Done. We're going to be talking more about this event system as we build this project. But that gets you started. Remember, every layout has an event sheet. The space layout has a space event sheet. Okay, let's make our lasers. We're going to create a new sprite object. Let's call it laser. Click insert. Now with this one, I want you to put it below the layout. Open up the folder and let's find the laser image. But once again, this is in Colstock Game Dev Space Shooter Assets. Let's rotate it. 90 degrees. Then we're going to set the origin point of the laser. An origin point is a special kind of image point that defines the center of an object or its point of rotation. So make sure you have the origin point selected, set its X coordinate to 10 and its Y coordinate to 5. Okay, press the red X to close and we are going to assign behaviors to our laser. Remember, the laser is below the layout. It's not on it. Right click on the laser, choose behaviors, and let's add the bullet behavior. 
close with the red X, we're going to set the speed property of the bullet to be 800 pixels per second. All right, let's go back to our event sheet. This is where the code for the space layout is placed. We're going to add an event. We're going to choose system. And we're going to go down under time choosing every X seconds. We're going to specify 0 0.2, which means 200 milliseconds. That's five times a second. Choose add action. Double click spaceship. Scroll down. And we're going to spawn another object. We're going to spawn a laser. We're going to spawn a laser on the content layer. We want to spawn it at the image point we created earlier, laser left. We're going to add another action. We're going to choose laser and we're going to set its angle to 270 degrees. This is going to cause the laser to go straight up the screen. Let's do the same thing for laser right. I'm going to spawn an object, a laser, once again on the content layer, but this time at the laser right image point we defined earlier. Press done. Add one more action. Once again, we are going to set the angle of the laser we just created to 270 so it goes vertically up the screen. Thus far we have code that creates lasers five times a second. Let's add an event that cleans up the lasers once they've flown off the screen. Choose laser. Go down to size and position and choose is on screen. Now is on screen is a condition. We're going to right click and invert it because we're looking for when the laser is off the screen. Let's add an action. When the laser is off the screen, we are going to destroy it. Under miscellaneous, go to destroy. There we are. Let's go ahead and save this. And now we want to run this to see how things are going. Once again, click the run layout. Looks like a little play button. As you can see, we're firing our lasers. We cannot go outside the layout because we have the bound to layout behavior. And we can use our eight direction behavior to move up and down, side to side. Let's go back to our project and let's run our game in debug mode. Debug mode allows us to see what goes on behind the scenes. As you can see, as lasers fly off the screen, they are promptly cleaned up by our code. The code that checked to see whether they were off the screen. All right, there we have it. Don't forget to save your project.